Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTexHomePage.com as well as the OracleTexHomePage.com app. Here's a look at the weather pattern that we have outside right now. Still looking at the disturbance, a uh, weakness here across the southern plains. You can see the large area of rain from central Texas extending into the Oracletex. Uh, this afternoon, this Friday afternoon, the main focus of rain shifting more towards the north into northeast Texas and southwest Arkansas. And we will likely see this continue to eventually decrease here uh, during the evening hours this evening. Let's show you what's going to be happening with this feature. Again, you're watching uh, Oklahoma, Texas, and you can see that little weakness there, a little dip here extending into southwest Texas, kind of sitting here through the weekend, and then we'll see the upper level ridging begin to expand and uh, push the system back up to the north by the time we get into the first of next week. And by the time we get to Tuesday, you can clearly see, if you look at the white lines moving, the uh, clockwise spin over the northern Gulf of Mexico centered over the Louisiana Gulf Coast. That is upper level high pressure, and what's left of that area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere is now located up towards Omaha and moving away, and that's going to take the rainfall with it as this ridge will again be the dominating feature in the weather in our uh, in our weather here for most of the week ahead. Until then, uh, we're looking at a continued chance for some more scattered showers. Futurecast taking you through the nighttime hours tonight, showing you, or this is actually the um, high resolution refresh model showing you the rain decreasing tonight and uh, not really showing a whole lot uh, into the um, late night hours tonight into uh, say 2 a.m. But Futurecast is showing some new development later on. You can see Futurecast does also decrease the rain this evening. Most of the night tonight quiet, but notice showers and thunderstorms trying to move back into the region very late tonight uh, and uh, move across northwest Louisiana and likely will be decreasing as it moves into the region late tonight. And for tomorrow, we are looking at a mostly cloudy sky, a scattered shower a possibility, but most of the rain, if Futurecast verifies, probably will be in the morning. A few pop-up showers will be a possibility during the afternoon. Going through Saturday night, again, some more pop-up showers possible, but again, limited coverage, and it looks like the focus is shifting more towards the north. And then uh, Robin Soto and Futurecast showing you uh, more scattered showers and thunderstorms moving across the region. This is probably the final wave that we will see here uh, for Sunday afternoon. Now, make note that other models keep us pretty much dry here for Sunday, so I am going to reduce the rainfall chances just based on the majority of models uh, doing that. But nonetheless, uh, still a possibility. If you've been missed somehow by the rain over the last couple of days, I finally got my rain today. Uh, chances are you'll get uh, some uh, over the course of the weekend. You still have some hope. How much rain might we see? This is a look at our model's depiction, and you can see it's showing still another inch possible across the southern sections of the area. Might be just a little bit overdone. A half an inch to an inch and a quarter, maybe. A uh, half an inch to an inch across the northern sections of the area. Here's the GFS model, and this goes out entire week and it's showing a half an inch to an inch through Monday and then adds on some rain to the northern sections of the area uh, Thursday and Friday as we'll see a little bit of a weakness in that ridge trying to allow uh, the chance for the shower thunderstorm to uh, return to the weather picture by the end of next week across the northern sections of the area. In the meantime, temperature-wise across the region tonight, uh, looking at lows, low to middle 70s. You can see the 71 in Texarkana, 74 degrees in Shreveport, 72 in Marshall. Daytime highs tomorrow will be a bit warmer. I'm thinking upper 80s, lower 90s across much of the region. 91 degrees in Shreveport, 90 in Texarkana, and looking at 89 for the high tomorrow in Marshall. All that said, let's show you a summary of your seven-day forecast. These are Shreveport numbers, first of all, and you can see the trend as the rain chances go down, temperatures go up, as we'll be back up into the mid-90s soon as Monday, and likely we'll stay in the mid to upper 90s for the rest of the week. That 20% you see there Thursday, Friday, probably for Shreveport, 10%. That 20% would include the northern sections of the area. Speaking of that, here's a look at the numbers for Texarkana. And you can see you're looking at uh, uh, perhaps uh, temperatures upper 80s, low 90s for the next few days. You'll have a lingering chance for that rainfall Monday. Tuesday, it shows some thunderstorms, but I think Tuesday will be dry, and then we will see, again, that slight chance of rain towards the end of next week. So all in all, it does look like uh, still a shot for some more rain as we go through the weekend, another half an inch to an inch, generally speaking, a possibility, and then we'll shut the rain off and heat things up as we go through next week.